Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Passio, P-A-S-S-I-O, chocolates. Probably saying that wrong, it's okay. Uh, it says Merry Christmas. Uh, there is vanilla, hazelnut, and cappuccino premium like little, chocolate. They look like little um, uh, pine cones or something. They, yeah, they do. Uh, that, we'll show them to you when we take them out. These, we found these at World Market. Uh, they were there was six ninety nine for the package. It's for a six ninety nine for a six point six ounce package, and this is a brand that uh, I we've never tried before. And so, anytime I see a new brand, I try to pick it up. Uh, they're actually made in Poland, um, and it's www dot l u c z n i c z k a dot com. You'll probably have to rewind that over and over if you want to get you, all that. You can type it. <laughs> Be nice and put it in the description. <laughs> I could. Um, this is a sorted chocolate praline with filling, vanilla, cappuccino, hazelnut, eight servings per container, two pieces, 25 grams is 150 calories. And I'm just gonna cut that tape. Not, you cut towards your finger. Oh, well, I know what I'm doing. I Says did everybody not, that cuts themselves. I did not expect it to be no. like this. I that's expected, cool. uh, these are like ornaments yeah. that- You could literally hang those on you, first. Yes, and that's exactly what they're made to do. They're made, there's two little strings, you probably can't see it in the camera, but it's made to tie this together and actually hang these on your Christmas that's tree. That's cool, and one's gold, one's kind of a purpley color, one's pink. Yes. Yes. So it's which one do you? On want? the back, it kind of shows oh, the picture. Oh, okay. Of did that. it? Oh, good. The vanilla is going to be pink. So let's do that one first. I'm glad you said that because I did not. I, I, didn't I noticed catch it when that. you flipped it over. The vanilla is says uh, chocolate cones with vanilla filling. Now, can you have that or do we need? Oh yeah. It's, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Yeah. It's pretty it's, good size. It's uh, it's a, it's a good size chocolate. Oh, cut really nicely so it's not hard. We've had something very similar to that before. It's very good. I like it. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. I do too. There's like a little spice to it. I don't and know what the is... little spice is, but... It is reminiscent of something else that we've, something we've had in the past. It does have a vanilla flavor, but it's not like an American vanilla. Mm -hmm. No, it has a, like I said, it almost comes across as a spice of some kind. Yeah, but it, it's, it's good. It's very creamy chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think that's nice quality. I think it's, it's very nice. It's very good. Um, and the next one is hazelnut, chocolate mm -hmm. cones filled with hazelnut. It was very, the center was very, very soft. Almost runny. It tastes like raw hazelnut. Um, you know you say that, but we've had much, much stronger hazelnut. I no, think. I'm just saying it, it doesn't have a, a strong sweetness to it. It's like a, the nut. It's just like you've eaten the actual nut itself. I like it very much. I like the creaminess of it. It's very, very soft and creamy. I, I like it. I don't think the, the, the hazelnut just doesn't come across as strong as we've had in the past. Yeah. No, but you can definitely tell it's hazelnut. Yes, absolutely. The last one is cappuccino. Love the texture of these. Mm -hmm. They're very soft. This one was a little firmer. Not much though. Mm -mm. It's, still, it's still very soft though. Oh, that's my favorite one. There's a little hit of bitterness for that one. It's probably the coffee. And mm -hmm. you know what? Once I'm done eating it, it's mm -hmm. a little chemical like. I didn't get that. You don't get it like an artificial. No, that's definitely my favorite one. It's I still a, like it the best, but. Yes, it, uh, it's a strong coffee flavor yeah. and it is creamy. Um, yeah, those are the ones, all the gold ones, those would be my pick. Uh, I like those the very, very best. The hazelnut is probably my least favorite, but um, they're all they're good. I, I think the uh, 
I think anybody for seven dollars you're getting a lot of them I think anybody would be happy with these if you put them in a gift basket add them to a Christmas stocking mm -hmm. or just give them as a present with a card or if um, you're going to a party you needed a five or ten dollar gift this would be yeah, right there in the range I really do yeah I, I <coughs> would totally be fine with giving this to somebody mm -hmm. uh, you know there's a lot of chocolate boxes that I've been like I wouldn't give that to anybody. I wouldn't, you know, why would you want to give somebody a crappy gift? This would be an, actually a nice gift mm -hmm. to give. That's good. And uh, That's different. We have never, I've seen chocolates like this before um, in home goods and places like that where they usually come from other countries, but they're made to hang on the tree. I've seen a whole, like a clear container of decorated, like chocolate covered uh, balls in like red foil with really pretty yeah. pictures that they're meant to hang on the tree now I don't know anybody personally Any Americans that do that? But I'm wondering I mean, I think that's a neat thing I, we do candy canes but they're wrapped. Yeah, and so, some that's just sometimes not. Yeah, not I mean we that. don't do yeah, that. But, some but, but a lot of people do candy canes because, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of money for decorations, you can buy a box of candy canes for next to nothing and hang those all over the tree, and it adds a lot of color. We we did that when we first got married because we didn't have a lot of money for a bunch of ornaments. Um, but I'm wondering how many people in other countries buy these and actually tie them together and hang them on the tree. And then on Christmas Day, is that when you would, I'm trying to figure out, how, you know, the tradition. On Christmas Day, would you take it off the tree and eat it then and maybe not get additional chocolate in the Christmas stocking? Because you're going to get it off the tree. Right. I don't know. I would just be very curious if you buy these sorts of things, how you do it. But I think this would be a nice gift to it's give good. somebody. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.